Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. And since you're going to be watching this on either Christmas Eve or Christmas, Merry Christmas! You can see I have my tree behind me. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great holiday, whether you celebrate Christmas or something else. Hope you're having a wonderful time with your family and friends. And hope you got some cool gifts. I mean, hopefully I'm going to be having fun with my family and don't know what I'm getting yet, but... Yeah, speaking of gifts, that's actually the point of this video and why I'm filming this like a week before Christmas um, so that I can wrap these presents because I am showing you guys what I am giving my friends and family for Christmas. I did do this a couple years ago along with my what I got for Christmas video, which I will also be doing as well. And so yeah, I'm just gonna take you through what I picked out for everybody. I'm giving a gift this year for Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll just get right into it. So I'm gonna start with the gift I got my grandmother, who I call Memo. And so from my Memo, um, her present is in this pretty little box here. I got her this lovely little cross necklace. And it's from the brand Brilliance. I got this at Kohl's. Um, they had a nice deal on things like this on Black Friday. And I just thought she really liked this. And apparently, according to the box, these are Swarovski crystals in here. Swarovski? I, does anybody even know how to actually say that? But anyway, yeah. That's for my memo. And let's see. Now I'm going to take you guys through what I got all of my aunts and uncles on my mom's side, which is pretty much, I've said before in um, my last What I Gave for Christmas video, that's pretty much who we exchanged gift with, my mom's side of the family. Um, so first, I'm going to take you through what I got for my Aunt Tina, my mom's sister. <laughs> um, so every time I wear this hat, this is actually a new hat I just bought this year. Every time I wear this hat, my Aunt Tina, if she sees me in it, she just, she compliments me. And she's like, oh, that's such a cute hat. So I got her one just like it. It's, well, it's different coloring, obviously, but it's the same type of hat and... I, I hope she likes it because I just, I know I do. It's like the coziest, just cutest hat I've ever had. So yeah, that's for her. And weirdly enough, another thing she always compliments on me whenever we're at like a special event together, like a party or a wedding, she always compliments my eye makeup. So I decided to get her a few little bits and pieces of some elf makeup so that she could do eye makeup similar to what I do. I got her um, the elf eyelid primer. Totally like OG right here. I got her a little blending brush from elf and also this really pretty eyeshadow palette in rose gold, which I just, I don't have this myself, but I think I might have to go back to the store and get myself one of these because super cute. You can never go wrong with elf makeup, right? <laughs> Um, next, I'm going to show you what I got for my Uncle Dwight, who is my Aunt Tina's husband. So he's my uncle by marriage, but he's my uncle. Um, I got him this really cool sign. It says UK, which is University of Kentucky. It's our local college here, and um, that's our team, the UK Wildcats. Go Cats. And it says, Eat Sleep Football. And I thought he would like this because he's a football nut, and he has, like, this really cool man cave in their house. So I know he always likes little things he can hang up in there just to decorate. So. so next up we have my Uncle Steve, who is my mom's brother. And his wife, my Aunt Jennifer, is um, getting him a Keurig for Christmas. And she's assured me that he's going to have it by Christmas Eve, which is when we open gifts with everybody. So um, I've been told it's safe to go ahead and give him this. <laughs> It was just an idea she gave me. I got him some Swiss Miss hot chocolate that's cake up so we can use them in the Keurig. And um, I'm sure he probably has mugs, but I just thought to go with it, it'd be nice to get him a little UK mug. Just a nice little thing they had on sale at Walmart. And, you know, you can never go wrong with UK stuff in my family. We're all huge fans. <laughs> Next up, we have my Aunt Jennifer, my Uncle Steve's wife. And I got her this really neat little dinner bell just to hang, like, on their back porch. And they have a little farm, so they can always, like, ring the bell to get each other's attention or whatever. But, yeah, I thought this would be cool. And it's actually from... The Hearth and Hand with Magnolia line. This is a Chip and Joanna Games from Fixer Upper. That's their line at Target. And so I always love when I can buy some stuff from them. So, yeah. 
All right, so next up, I'm gonna take you guys through all the gifts that I got for the cousins that I exchanged gifts with on my mom's side. Um, so first up, my cousin Matt. I got him this little pet treat launcher because he and his wife just actually got a new dog. He's so cute, his name is Blue, and he's just, he has a lot of energy. He's still just a little puppy. So I thought something like this would be so much fun for them to play with with him. So that's for Matt. And then for his wife, Heather, I got this adorable little sign. It says, when all else fails, hug the dog. And they also just got a new house too. So I thought something like this, they could sit around their house. Totally cool. Next up, we have my little cousin, Alyssa. I mean, she's not little, she's like almost 20, but she's younger than me, so I call her my little cousin. Um, I don't know why, but I was just in a mug buying mood this year. I saw this cute little mug. So I got her one and I actually got one for somebody else too. So I got, it says, fa la 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 latte. It's got a little spoon on it. I just thought it was cute and that she would get a kick out of that because I know she likes lattes and coffee and stuff. And she's also a really big Harry Potter fan. So I got her this, it's like a little miniature wand. It's like, like a collectible Harry Potter mini wand and you, it's like a mystery which one you're gonna get. You can get a bunch of different ones here. And I don't know, I'm a Harry Potter fan and I just thought this was something fun that she would get a kick out of because I know I would as a fan, so. Then for my younger cousin, Anna, I also got her and one of the Fa La 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 Latte mugs. And one of the things on her list was a Bluetooth speaker for her phone. So I just got this simple little basic pink one it's from the On brand that you see all the time at Walmart. Something simple and nice that I can check off her wish list. <laughs> then for my younger cousin, Tyler, I got him this. He's always like tinkering with stuff and I know he's into like robotics and stuff. So I got him, it's this little um, model motor engine kit. It's like a model engine you can like just tinker around with. I think it actually, you can make it work and yeah, it's really, it's just something that I saw and it made me think of him. And he's like, what, 15? So I don't know if he's too old for this, but I'm gonna give it to him and I think he'll get a kick out of it, so yeah. <laughs> so next up is my best friend, Tiffany. And I got her a couple of little things. First off is this cute little sign. It says, motherhood. Powered by love, fueled by coffee, sustained by wine. <laughs> and I feel like she's going to get a kick out of this because it's just so her. It's just, yeah. And it, I don't know if she'll put this in somewhere in her house or if she'll put this in her cubicle at work. But it just made me think of her. And this other item I got her was actually something on her Amazon wish list. And look how cute this bag is that it comes in. It's so cute. And what it is, it's this set of really awesome Harry Potter makeup brushes. And like the handle of all of these brushes is like different wands from the Harry Potter franchise. And I'm not gonna go through all of them, but they are just so cool and I had to get them for her. It may not be the most practical thing because I mean, they're all pretty much like the same size, but Oh well, <laughs> they're awesome. Then for her mother, Valerie, I got, it's heavy. I got this Pioneer Woman cookbook. Uh, Tiffany told me that her mom's been getting into cooking lately and so I just thought a cookbook would be good and hey, who doesn't love the Pioneer Woman, right? She's awesome. So that's for Valerie. And then of course, Tiffany has two kiddos who I'm an honorary auntie to, so of course, I gotta spoil them rotten for Christmas. For her eight-year-old son, Aiden, he's obsessed with Legos and Harry Potter as well, so I got him these two different um, Harry Potter Lego sets. This one is Aragog's Lair. <laughs> and then this one is actually from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. This is Grindelwald's Escape. These were both on his list, and they were just too cool for me not to get him those. And then for her three-year-old daughter, Kenna, I got a couple of little Barbie sets. Well, they're Chelsea, Barbie's little sister, but hey. <laughs> but yeah, I got her, this is Chelsea's treehouse. 
And then this little set is Chelsea's Clubhouse, which probably seemed like the same thing, but they are different sets. And I can't even get them in the same shot, but yeah. That's those, and I am fully encouraging her being into Barbie stuff, so. Edie had to get her those as well. <laughs> Alright, I think I only have one gift left. I should mention that I know a lot of you might have watched my last What I Gave for Christmas video and you're probably like, wait, don't you have an older brother and sister-in-law? Yes, I do, um, but actually we're not exchanging gifts with my brother and sister-in-law this year. Sometimes that happens, you know, we just get that way as a family. Sometimes we just say no gifts and yeah. But anyway, the last gift I have to show you is what I got for my parents. And I actually have to get that out of my closet. BRB. All right. As you guys can see, I am back with my parents' present. And it is so big. It doesn't even fit in the shot. <laughs> but as you can see, I got them this baby. It is a Dyson cord-free vacuum. Now, interestingly, we actually already have a full size, like the big actual proper Dyson vacuum. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. We're not, I'm not buying them this to replace it, but we really need something like this that's handheld and cordless that we can use to like vacuum our stairs in our new house and just do like little spot cleaning. That's what I like about this vacuum is you can even like, you can use it on hardwood, tile and all things like that just to get like little crumbs or something up. We really need this, and my parents have been, especially my mom, she's been talking about getting one of these for the longest time and just haven't yet. So, I'm a good daughter, and I got a good deal on this for Black Friday. So, Mom, Dad, Merry Christmas! <laughs> So yeah, that is my what I gave for Christmas video. That's what I'm getting all my family and friends for the holidays. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope again that you guys are having a wonderful Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and that you're just spending some wonderful time with your family and friends. Best wishes to you and yours and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that fun stuff and I will see you guys next time. Bye.